but this will only be a short time okay this is a glitch this is a hack Telio champs, are you excited? Because I'm excited because you can get the XPS 15 and 17, the new versions. Well, at least if you're in the USA, the XPS 15 is available in Australia. But we're going to talk about in this video which one you should get. And I'm going to show you the ultimate configuration that you should get so you don't waste any money on these XPSs. Should you get the old one? Because have a look at this. There are so many discounts, end of financial year discounts. You can get big discounts on the old model. And I'm going to show you this ultimate hack to get an XPS 15 cheap. Now, if you have a look at these, look at these discounts here. I can even get a bigger discount from that as well. So yeah, $1,000 off. And that's the sort of, you know, the price point where I start thinking, should I get the old XPS? 15 or should I get the new one if I can save a thousand dollars hey maybe the old one's better now the key differences I'll tell you right now first we know how these parts perform I've had a laptop with 11 gen CPU I've had a laptop with RTX 3060 which goes in the XPS 17 and we also know the difference between the RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti if you go check Jared's tech channel he's got a you know video comparing those two so we know the performance of all these parts so we can make an informed decision is it worth getting this is the one difference you're going to get with XPS 17 or 15 you get the 11th gen CPUs now with the 11th gen CPUs you should have PCI Express 4 Thunderbolt will it be built into the CPU now technically the 11th gen have it built into the CPU Thunderbolt so it will be Thunderbolt 4 we know that it is Thunderbolt 4 but Thunderbolt 4 is just Thunderbolt 3 with all the features implemented and it doesn't say anything about PCI Express 4.0 so we have to wait and see we have to put a PCI Express 4 SSD in there it certainly won't come with a PCI Express 4 SSD but essentially the 11th gen CPU PCI Express 4 should be Thunderbolt 4 new OLED display on the XPS 15 3.5k that should be amazing and the 3050 Ti or 3050 they're the only difference between this and the old model really the big deal is the display because really there's not going to be that much difference 10th to 11th generation CPUs yes you get the better integrated graphics but you're not going to be using that except maybe you know better AV1 quick sync and that yeah it'll be a bit faster but the graphics card there will be a bit of difference but at 45 watts you know these 3050 ti's perform similar to a 1660 so it will be a boost over the last xps 15 but it still has four gigabytes of ram so the 1650 ti was actually a decent graphics card and you know when you only got 45 watts these 30 series the big performance gains are when they can use more wattage so i don't think there's a big deal there so i think you know the main show here is the price you know how much can you get the new one versus the old one and this display 3.5k oled and it's perfect for 15 inch you know 4k can be a bit you know overkill it's going to be very interesting to see and make sure you subscribe because um i'm going to have some big coverage on these xps laptops and then in america you can also get the xps 17 which really the only difference here is the new cpus again it doesn't say here you can get the hk so um I thought you could get the unlocked one, but you can't. So for CPU wise, the old model, new model, not much of a big deal. And we get an RTX 3060 at 70 watts, which, you know, it's a 130 watt package. You're not going to get 70 watts when that CPU has been lit up. That's just the boost of it. It won't be that much better than the 2060, to be honest. And there's no new display, all right? You get Thunderbolt 4, yes but there's no new display. Basically, you're just gonna upgrade with the CPU and GPU. It's gonna be a bit better performance, but it's not gonna be night and day difference. You know, Thunderbolt 4, as I said, is Thunderbolt 3 with all the features implemented. No big deal there either. PCI Express 4, well, we'll have to test if we can do the SSDs. So I think it really comes down to price. And as I showed you, all these laptops for sale, when you can get 1,000 off, this is just nuts, right? Not only that, you can use something like, say, in Australia, we have cash rewards. We can get 5% off. But I'm going to show you the ultimate hack. Well, at least it works here in Australia. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. I can stack coupons, okay? So that's 15% off plus another 3%, I believe, that Keanu is. Loved Keanu. And then I get the 5% off with the cash rewards. And now... I'm getting this XPS 15, the new one, pretty much for the same price of the discounted old one. So it makes no sense for me to buy the older one now. Just buy the new one. Maybe it's 100 more or whatever, but 
it's pretty close to what the old one is even at a discount so for example let's just go to this xps 17 i'll go to this and you see 1700 off let's see if i can stack the coupons on this the codes aren't stacking right so you can only use one actually the best thing to do is just remove this affiliate one because you can only get one discount and you'll see it actually go down in price when i remove that watch this it goes down in price yeah so you can't stack the codes on the old ones that are already discounted but you can stack the codes on the new ones all right so these i'm stacking both of these codes and i'm getting a discount of 800 but this will only be a short time okay this is a glitch this is a hack and pretty much as soon as i get this video up i guarantee you you know if you don't do it quick this hack will be removed now let's talk about the ultimate configuration for the xps 15 and 17 now with both of them it's the same right you get the 11800h don't bother with the i9 it's not the one you can overclock it's not the one you can undervolt it is locked so there's no point getting that considering the thermal and power constraints of the xps windows 10 home and pro you know i've got a discount code in the description if you want to upgrade your windows home to windows pro check out my discount code you can also get office 2019 so don't bother with the windows 10 pro just get my discount there get the best graphics so on the xps 17 will be the 3060 with this one here it's the 3050 and you want the eight core i7 okay you don't want the i9 as i said before they're both eight cores these i wouldn't go for the six core i mean it'll be fast don't worry about that but um it's better to have the eight core get the best graphics and whatever screen suits you i'm going to select this one that's the best bang for buck best graphics card the middle tier cpu do not waste the money on the i9 and use those hacks use those discount codes yeah so i'm basically getting what 22 22 percent off when it all comes down i'll get an extra five percent off this that's a big discount can't wait to get this in catch you in the next one guys are you excited let me know down there in the comments which xps you're getting i really want to hear from you guys i'll catch you in the next one